Welcome back, this time episode 17 in our series. And the discussion today will be on the concept of Chiu Ying. Chiu Ying means literally facing. And facing is one of the principal things about Wing Chun that makes it a very different martial art from other martial arts systems. Most styles fight from a semi-side on right through to a side on position and sometimes even involving turning the body completely. In Wing Chun, we always keep ourselves facing the target at all times. That begins with the Sin and Tao form, where everything is done in a stationary position, facing the same position all the time. There's no variation. Even when the hands go in different directions, the body still faces forward, because we're trying to train the body to consider always being on target with what we're trying to hit and avoid getting hit because we can take them off the target, which is a concept of Bai Ying. Bai Ying is the opposite of Chiu Ying. It's off center, whereas Chiu Ying is on center. Now, simple explanation by demonstration is, if we've collided with each other and I'm facing my opponent squarely, as he tries to come in, as long as I can adjust my stance to keep my center, it will cause him to lose his center. And that's achieved by two things in particular. The first one is when I feel that he's too strong, I don't try to hold him there because that would be a question of force and strength. And if I'm not as strong as him, he will collapse my shape. So the first thing that's required is to adjust my own stance, which we would use either Tuema, our retreating steps, or if the opponent wasn't all that forceful, mostly attacking without much movement, I could Junma, I could pivot, and that would still allow me to achieve Chiu Ying. You can see straight away in this example, my training partner, Wei Cheng, is being forced away from my center, so he is now in Bai Ying. I'm still 100% square, so I have use of both hands. This comes down to a very simple thing. If you're doing actions that require turning, only one hand can reach the target at one time. The other hand can't do anything until you readjust the body. But if you always remain in Chiu Ying, you always have two hands available for both attack and defense, and even a foot as well, should that be necessary. So the concept of Chiu Ying is applied by firstly adjusting stance, but secondly, always making sure that my center line is facing him. So if he does something on this side, I face the center line towards his core. If he tries to do a second attack, I would adjust and face his core. I won't push the hand away because that would now make me in Bai Ying. All right, so whatever happens, I always face him. This is why we practice a lot of drills square on. It's why we practice Chi Sao with initially a square on position to encourage keeping Chiu Ying. This is one of Wing Chun's secret weapons that we're always facing the target. So it's harder for them to hit us easier for us to do with them. All right, hope that helps you understand the concept of Chu Ying. See you next time.